Hi there, this is a Crookes deflection tube. It's actually an educational cathode ray tube. Um, we have the cathode at this end and the anode at this end. And there's a, a fairly reasonable vacuum in here. This plate, uh, you can see, is actually angled and it has a fluorescent coating on it. There's a slot cut into the end of the disc here so we actually have a a kind of plane of electrons coming across and this forms a line on the back plate. We've now connected a high voltage up to this tube and we have 5 kV between the anode and cathode. You can see there's a beam of electrons shown on the back plate. But what we can do with this is demonstrate the electrons can be deflected by bringing a magnet up to the tube. So this magnet here can be used to deflect the electron beam. I also have another example, a more modern example of this tube. This one has got the addition of plates where the beam can travel through between them. And we can apply a voltage across these plates. Again, we've connected up the voltage between the anode and the cathode. Uh, and just like the other one, we can demonstrate the beam, the electron beam can be moved by bringing a magnet up. Different colour is purely because of the material used as the fluorescent uh, back plate. This time we've connected the two plates, internal plates here, to an external power supply, a DC supply, and if we uh, Apply the voltage, it's only 40 volts. You should see a deflection occurs with the beam. Connected up the plates to a little inverter. This little inverter produces about 100 volts, but it's uh, basically a, a square wave output. And we'll see what happens. This time we apply the voltage to the plates, you get a split because of the square wave. Shows a split in the beam. This is a, another educational cathode ray tube, uh, a much more modern vintage. This one similarly has the fluorescent screen sideways and a, an angle to the beam, and the beam is also coming along through a, a, a small kind of gap in the anode here. But this time we have a proper electron gun with a heater at the back and a, a much better vacuum inside the tube. I've connected up the cathode ray um, the voltage for the heaters and for the anode. And as before, we can move this electron beam with a, a magnet. And But we can also apply a voltage to the plates and move it electrostatically as well. I've placed uh, a couple of coils this time around here so we can actually pass a, a current around these coils and create a magnetic field. And again we can bend the beam with the magnetic field generated by these coils. So I can apply a current through the coil uh, and deflect the beam, or I can apply a voltage across the plates and deflect it. And I have a range to go the other way, so we can deflect it electrostatically and then apply a magnetic field for the current from the coil to cancel the effect. This is a part of an experiment that can be used to calculate the velocity of the electrons inside the tube. Just one last point here, just show you the electron beam is coming from this end through the, the slot in this plate here to the anode at this end. If we reverse the polarity, then we're having electrons coming from this side, which is just flooding the fluorescent plate at the back. So pretty conclusive the electrons are travelling from the negative plate. 